I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey guys, this is Ev Nino here, and um, we are in Hungary, and uh, that's the worst accent ever. But we're starting from third place in the Mercedes. We're about to get out of the garage. Please let me out of the garage. I'm gonna kill you if you don't let me out of the garage. What did I say? <laughs> um, yeah. What happened last time in Monaco? Well, you saw it at the start of the episode. It was horrific. Um, that Monaco race was horrible. Uh, so much happened. Uh, but it's Monaco. It's, everything's gonna happen in Monaco. Anyway, we're moving on. And we are in third place starting. So, uh, winning Hungary. I can't complain if I do. Let's see, let's see. Five lights. We are go, 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 go! And I use a bit of my curves, most of my curves, maybe a lot of my curves, maybe every, all of my curves. Try to get game position. I break early just to not run into that Williams who got completely taken out by a rogue McLaren. Sergio Perez. <laughs> I kid Perez, I kid Sergio. I kid Checo. I got a bit wide of that turn and I made, there's contact behind and that Lotus has, has, has completely, has completely put me off the track. Anyway, let's keep going down to 7th, flipping out man. Already contact and already I'm a victim. But anyway, we'll catch up. <sighs> It's frustrating when that happens, but what can you do? It's F1 2012. You cannot do anything. There's already rage quitters, so uh, we'll get in position from that. Up to six now. And I'm catching up to the guys in front, so. So we can't complain. We just have to race. 1.4 seconds. Well, I'm getting closer. Seems to be a pile, just a queue for the guy in the leads. <laughs> Down the home straight is going to be chaos, I know that. Ain't hungry. Mostly is. So I'm right behind this Marusha for fifth place. Let me try and use a bit of my curves and get up to slipstream. And if he leaves me space. He kind of did, but um, anyway. Oh, and he doesn't leave me space on the outside. What is he doing? I leave him space on the inside, and that Sauber's in the wall. Up, up to getting two position from that, up to fourth. Nice. Our recovery has begun. Whoa, a bit sideways movement there. What happened there? I don't know. And here's our nemesis from the first lap. I think that is. Anyway, we'll let him race. I've caught up to him. Whoa, I've, I've, I've made a complete hash at that corner. Horrible. Went horribly wide there, but anyway. Oh, I like trains. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what reference has that to F1. But Lotus has gone a bit wide down that hairpin. Down the straight, what's the gap? 1.3 seconds. I can close that up. And uh, another podium is possible. Let's get this corner right. That Lotus has gone a bit wide, so have I. Did my curse to recover. Race started with a bit of promise. I gained to second place at the start. Now I got taken out by the Lotus that's racing in front of me. Up down to seventh, and with the prospect of me getting in front of the guys, up to fourth, podium is possible if I stop moving sideways. That is. Oh, that's a 14 does spun it, and I'm up to the podium. And you'd think, well, that's that. Just stop. <laughs> Just bring it home. Nah, I want this Lotus. I want this Lotus. I want second place. I want as many points in this series as I can because uh, this series is going to be long. But anyway, that Lotus, I don't think I'm going to catch him. He's opened up the gap. 
Anyway, third place, not bad. That is if we keep on track. <laughs> Round the final hairpin towards the straight. Fumpa, that's a nice name, has won the race. Awful Dark Hero has come second and I come third. No, I've come second because he got a penalty from my, presumably from my con, from our contact. So second place, 18 points in Hungary. And, you know, recovering from the dark horses that was Monaco last time. But anyway, this has been F Nino. Until the next time, peace out, guys.